Hey everyone, this is Cat Bunny. Um, this is a an unboxing of a Lego Minecraft set. Uh, this unboxing is sort of so we can kind of get an idea of exactly or somewhat how we should do the Lego Dimensions unboxing that we're planning on doing in about a week and a half, maybe a week. Week and a half. Week and a half. Here with my my husband Sporksand. Howdy. He's, he's helping me out with all the technical stuff. Um, so I chose this because A, I love Minecraft, um, and I like this set in particular because it actually has a, a spawn, a spawner in it, and it comes with two zombies, and of course Steve, so I'm really actually excited about the spawner. I don't know why, it's just such a little part of it, but it's just, I think it's cool. And that's pretty much it, so, you know. Go easy on us. It's the first try. <laughs> we'll do our best. Let's get building. So this is our Minecraft set completely done. We can see the monster spawner spinning. And eventually. Oh no, another zombie spawns. Watch out, Steve. I know it's pretty cool. I like it. We have a little treasure chest. What's in the treasure chest? Ooh. Gold and uh, bones. Gold and bones. I really like how modular they like. It's Legos, obviously it's modular, but they do a lot of the um, one piece connection. So you've got a piece on top, a peg on top, and a peg on bottom, and it just snaps on and off really easily. So if you want to reconfigure how everything is put together, you can really easily and really quickly um, break down certain aspects of the model and put it back together. And I feel like if you had other sets, they would, they're they made to kind of go all together because you can see where they've got connection points all over the place yeah. to tie into other Minecraft models. I'm still confused about why this is here. But that's okay. Yep. And so then right away they say, here's some other options you have. You can take that apart and make it a, some, some cave-in sand. Um, I think what it's supposed to be is, I think it is supposed to be a, um, a desert scene, and then underneath the desert there's a, there's a, um, a fortress or a dungeon. Oh, okay. But I mean, he's got a, an iron pickaxe, so he's not doing, he's not doing poorly. Nope. 
why don't you give us a rundown of this model? What did you like? What didn't you like? I don't think there was anything I didn't like. Um, my one complaint with doing most of these, which was what caused us the problem this time, was that sometimes when you're looking at the instructions, the if you don't have a compare a, a light gray and a dark gray one on the same page of the disc of the instructions, you can get easily confused by the grays. Um, I think they should be a little bit more because there was one page. There was you know we were building the gold block I think, and we used the dark gray because that's what matched the rest of it pretty much. Um, and there was nothing else on that page to kind of show compare that it was dark. To. Compare it to to show that it was the we were supposed to use the light gray and not the dark gray. Um, and I've had that issue before um, with building Legos in general. So that's not a necessarily a problem with this Lego set in particular. It's just a problem I have with Lego sets in general. Um, sometimes they don't do a good enough job of describing what each or show it of be. yeah of letting you know which shade of block you should be using. Because sometimes you know there's lots of grays. There's different kinds of tans and stuff like that. Sometimes dark grays and blacks can really, I, I think I, if it's a dark enough gray, it can be a problem too, if I remember correctly from previous builds. Other than that, I mean, I love, it's always fun with any Lego build to, as you're building, discover the little tricks they have for making things work. Um, and I always find that to be very, very clever. It's fun to build it and it's fun to see it, but I just love, I would love to watch and f see how they figure this stuff out, you know? Um, I assume that it's just fans that, you know, really know what they're doing that happen to get a really awesome job, but it's, I don't know, that's probably my favorite part of it. Just a clever way that they figured out how to build a monster spawner and, you know, and then a the clever little way of, like, hiding hiding where the zombie is so it kind of looks like a wall but then they kind of spawn um, and just the way they make things work and how they make what they're building for and what they're building with kind of work together if that makes sense yeah definitely okay that's that's probably a longer description of it than it needed to be but no I mean it was an in-depth description yeah so, I don't know. And then I just like sometimes like the little special blocks too, like Steve's head or like when I did the Lord of the Rings one, the little little statuettes, the little statues were pretty awesome. It's just it, like the little details are what really get me. Cool. And I think that's probably the end of this this video. I've been Sporks then. And this is Cat Bunny. Have uh, a great day. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and you can also find me on Instant Replay Live's YouTube channel and the GIRL's videos. Links to all of these can be found below. Thanks for watching!